Damn. Has Christianity been infiltrated? Let's go. Interesting. In Rome, they invented that he was God? So in the beginning, what happened is that Christianity was a persecuted religion in Rome, mm -hmm. right? So the Roman Empire is where Christianity was. was. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning, they were persecuted. Minority, they were being persecuted by all kinds <clears> of people, right? Up until the third or the fourth century, you had this guy called Constantine. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was the emperor at the time. He had a dream. Okay, he had a dream of the cross and all that kind of thing, and he became a Christian. Okay, even though Christianity had been a minority religion, mm -hmm. and they were a persecuted persecuted minority for a very long time. And when he became a Christian, um, in th in three thirteen there was something called the Edict of Milan, and in three twenty five there's something called the Nicene Creed. They started to formulate what is the belief of the Christians. Three twenty five they said it was you know you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This idea of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit came out. Oh, and then you guys you guys had the same text and it didn't change, right? So we believe. I think I've heard yeah. Sneeko say that, right? Yeah. So the Quran look so. To finish the story on this, right? We believe that Christianity had been interpolated, had been people. Oh, it's the video. That is weird. Ah. Uh. I think. To finish the story on this. Yeah. What the fuck's wrong with the video? Happened is. <laughs> what happened is, um, Islam is a continuation from Christianity, from from Jesus Christ. We believe Muhammad, who is the we believe the final prophet, he was sent in Arabia and he went when he was 40 to the cave and the angel But had see this is my him. problem. What do you mean the final? Final counter. Why is it the final? It's like I don't know how many hundred years ago. Why is that the final? You know what I mean? Anyways. And why why did why does it need update? Is it Windows 95 mm. update? I mean, is, is God, does God makes, make uh, Mistakes. incomplete books? Or <laughs> I don't buy it, man. I don't buy it. And he had revealed the Quran to him. The Quran, we believe, is the verbatim speech of God. And in that verbatim speech of God, you know, there are prohibitions, there are allowances, what to do, what not to do, etc., etc., etc. We also believe that this text and there's good evidence to show that it's been preserved for the Yeah, but, but what you oh the only thing you need to do is to not steal. Not steal free will, not steal health, not steal uh, life. life and not steal property. That's already in installed, okay? That's all you need. Do not steal. Been changed of it. Mm -hmm. Unlike the Bible. And if I asked if I asked the Christians, would they agree with that? That the Quran hasn't been changed, or yeah. would they say because often what I find is both sure. groups say the other is lying yeah. in a very much... Well, it depends on what Christian you ask. If you if you ask a fair-minded Christian mm -hmm. who's a scholar and academic, they may say, yes, we agree with the Muslim notion that the Quran has not been uh, changed. But if you ask a polemic or an apologist for Christianity, you'll say, no, the Quran has been changed just like the Bible. Mm -hmm. But they wouldn't deny that the Bible has been changed. So there are, for example, great scholars of Christianity, like Bruce Metzger, who's come out and wrote a book about how... But the yeah, I agree, mm -hmm. you know, that the uh, Christian the Christian Bible or whatever needs, needs has changed and updated itself. That's weird. Mm. There should not be any updates, right? But then if you're going to follow that, that that is God's words, then your book came, I don't know how many hundred years after that. Yeah. So that's in itself is a change. Yeah. What is that? You know what I mean? So you so allow then... that change, but you don't, uh, no, you <laughs> allow this change, but you don't allow that change. But the question is, is the Torah changed? But the, because the Torah is only the Old uh, Testament. So it comes down to the to the J people. Yeah. Because I don't they're think... They're the original yeah, yeah, of religion. The, yeah, that's the original of these uh, three religions. So the J people is the origins of religion. That in itself. Of the religion with only one God. Yeah. I mean, that is the truth. There is no more other God, but, you know, there's mm -hmm. only one God, but... Not decided. Very weird. Very weird. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is... So we've got the idea of God, and you've got to ask yourself an honest question, which one makes more sense? Let me ask you, in fact, mm -hmm. which one makes more sense? The idea of three persons, co-equal, co-eternal, or the idea of one God? If we're being honest about this. One God or three persons. Well, I guess the way they taught it to me was that one it's God. like, um, it, they're going to roast me. But then again, God is not a person. Mm. You know what I mean? Still watching from work. Great stream. <laughs> Fantastic, Karen. Great. Appreciate that. Then with your logic, man, we should all be J's. No, no, that's not at all what I'm saying. 
I'm saying if the Jays are behind all of this, you know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> take that how you I'm want. I'm to take it back a bit because I want to yeah. hear what she says. To me, it was mm. that it's like... um. It, they're gonna roast me because I know I'm not gonna explain it right, but no, but it's like um it's like three in one, so it's, yeah, sure. it's still one god, but it's just like there, there's it's like three in one. Yeah, I know, but you, you got the five. I can buy the yeah, two, and you got the... not buy, but I can understand the two, like God and Jesus. But here they say the God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Now, who is that? Is that the thing in between? Like no, but the, for real, the connection that? between God and yeah. Jesus, huh? the 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 bandwidth, the the thing. I don't yeah. know. The Holy Spirit. The Father is God. Mm -hmm. The Son is God. The Holy Spirit is God. But how many gods are there? One. Yeah, you does, one. But, but does that make sense to you? <laughs> yeah, but uh, listen. Okay, I know it doesn't make sense. But then again, you can't to, you can't claim that God makes sense. Oh okay. no! Of course not. Of course not. You know but, I mean? but here we're talking about, you know, human things. Yeah. Human explanation to God that don't make sense. Yeah, but you could say we, we, we're we human, but then we got a soul. That's two things, right? Or the soul is not the body. The soul body. and the mind and the heart? I don't know, but we got two mm -hmm. things at least. The soul and the body. And then there is God. But Yeah, way, because they say that Jesus is the flesh. Yeah. That's why we eat the bread and drink the wine, his flesh and his blood. Yeah, so in that sense, the whole the three thing could make sense. But even if it didn't make sense, you can't require God to make sense. Because God will never make any sense for anybody outside of God it, itself. We can never make sense of God. Mm -hmm. To claim that you can make sense, listen to this. If, if you claim that you can make sense of God, yeah. that means you can box God in. Mm. You can be above God because you can now make sense yeah. of God, which means that you are at least in the same place as God or even mm -hmm. above because you can now make yeah. sense of God. Yeah. Ah! Anybody that claims that they understand God, mm. nah. I don't want to say it. But I don't know what yeah. you're thinking. Yeah. You, 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 no, no. <laughs> one, yeah, two, does, one. But, but does that make sense to you? <laughs> kind of, <laughs> kind of. So if I add a fourth yeah. and say no, and also the disciples, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when, when do I yeah, stop? I, I could see how it would be confusing. Very confusing. Yeah, yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So when you, well, for example, if you're, if you're very sad, if you're. I guess to, what? It will always be confusing regarding God. Okay. We are not at God's level. Therefore. It will always be confusing, okay? It, it, there will not be a point where you're like, oh, I understand everything now. No, no, no. It will always be confusing, and that's where we will always be, because we're not God. Simple. If you're in a traumatic situation or if you're desperate, who do you call out to? God. Right? Which one? I mean, you call out to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, or all three at the same time? I would just say God. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what we would say. There are verses in the Quran that say that when the people are in the sea mm -hmm. and they're about to be capsized and so on, they will call out to God in all uh, earnestness and sincerity. Mm -hmm. But when they come back to the shore, then you'll, uh, you'll see them um, ascribing partners with God. Mm -hmm. See, God doesn't want you to ascribe partners with him. Mm -hmm. It's in the first 10 commandments, right? God wants you to just Again, worship. I don't like when you speak what God wants. Maybe God wants what you're saying, but please don't speak about what God wants because no one knows except God. It's an arrogant thing to say. God wants this. God wants that. Come on, man. Him alone. Don't be so arrogant. That's what Jews have said all over the time. That's what, you know, in the first Ten Commandments you'll find in the Old Testament, etc. So that's the first thing. I'll leave it with you. I mean, this seems to be the first question because that's one of the major differences between Islam and Christianity. Mm -hmm. The idea of God. That is one of the major. The second major difference is the prophethood of Prophet Muhammad. So is he a true prophet or not? That's the question. Because if he's a true prophet, then uh, clearly what he's saying comes from God. If he's not a true uh, prophet, then it's not. Then mm -hmm. it's just a man-made text, a uh, man from the 7th century, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. But what is, what is the difference between this prophet and somebody that also understands what God wants? Uh, like, do not steal what we just said. Outside of that, what's the difference between the prophet and anybody else that understands this very same thing that do not speak. Isn't the prophet that <laughs> has gotten the word from God? But we all got the word from God. Yeah, but God you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Hmm. 
but you know what oh, I mean. okay is he the one that first said it mm. or came came discovered that thing oh yes i want to understand i want to understand that i'm worshiping just god nothing to do with trying to figure out what god is okay but why can't you just worship god i don't understand just worship god you don't have to follow uh, worship anything else i don't know i don't get it you know what is that what is there else to worship <laughs> But if we owe, we owe it to ourselves to explore the issue. So, for example, we would find that the Prophet Muhammad had a pure track record. Mm -hmm. No one considered him to be a liar. No one considered him in his community to be a liar at all. They all knew him very well. He came when he was 40 years old after living a full life amongst them and told them that he was a prophet. And he didn't just say that frivolously. He, pro he provided evidences. So the, the kind of evidences that we have as Muslims, for example, is, number one, the preservation. Yes, the fact that the Quran does not have any contradictions in it. That's mm -hmm. an important thing. The theology, of course, of, of Islam, but also there are a range of other things. For example, the predictions of Islam. So Islam makes a series of predictions about the future, about how life. So that's the Bible. Let me give you ones that. See, this is what I always say about regarding Christians or Muslims or whoever. How do you know that it's not Satan that has mm. written these books? Because Satan probably lives outside. Like there is no time limit for Satan. He's been probably been here since the beginning. Of okay. course, of course. Uh, so if, if the devil has been here since the beginning, it damn well knows that in 2000 years from now, whatever, which is now, or whatever the year is, that it's going to do the mark of the beast, it's going to do that, it's going to do this, adds it into the book because that is what you people use as uh, credibility for the book, being from God. You know what I mean? See? It says here that the mark of the beast, yeah, but so dystopian did, tyranny. Is yeah, happening. but so did other religions also. If you're gonna you stretch it, like the Mayans predicted, yeah, the, whatever, the yeah. cars and the roads. Uh, Norse mythology also predicted a lot of things that is happening in the world. Yeah, I know. All of this is I I, I get a little bit disappointed because it feels like people are underestimating Satan. <clears throat> That is how I see it. Like, oh, Satan, yeah, he might be smart, but we're smarter. Really? Are you smarter than Satan? Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. And if you're not, you're making a grave mistake. So does the Bible, yes. But he is answering the authenticity of Muhammad being a prophet. We all agree that Jesus is authentic. Yeah, That's I know, I know. To your work. Exactly, it's the arrogance of these intellectuals who presume to know God's thoughts. Yeah, that's baffling. You can never do that. God, God knows everything. So if you're trying to put yourself above God or something, Let it's see. over. This is, this is a problem, and this is a thing that I discussed with uh, when we had Jehovah's here. My problem is that uh, Jews, Muslims, and Christians, we all believe in Adam and, me, uh, Adam and Eve, right? And they ate the apple from the snake that was the devil, and they got cast out from Eden, right? Okay, but when Adam and Eve left the garden, they knew, like we believe, they knew that God existed, right? They yeah, knew we it. believe yeah, they knew. Yeah, they knew. In that case. Because they talked true. to God, they met him, they, you know, they spent time with him. They left Eden, and then all of a sudden, all these other religions start to pop out. And not Christianity, not Islam, and not Judaism. The first religions is like, you know, the Egyptians, North mythology, the Chinese Buddhism, Hinduism, all of them are starting to popping out. After a few thousands of years, you're just going to go after history. Then comes Judaism, then comes Christianity, and then last comes Islam. And it's like baffling. All these three things uh, believe in Adam and Eve, and they left the Garden of Eden. But they said they forgot, like, oops, sorry, we forgot that, you know, about the God. We just created a whole bunch of the God, God but that we just saw mm. for real, like with our, you yeah, know, with our that eyes. is that is very strange for me. OK, that is a good point. if they change their uh, through the years, change their, uh, how would you say? Opinion. Yeah, opinion. Why would you change what? your opinion against God? Yeah, but still, that would be OK. But to create religions where 
thousands of god in hinduism or gods, uh, gods yeah in hinduism or uh, 50 gods in north mythology you know why why I'll top and then top green, yeah. we come back to one god Listen. it's very strange very Listen. strange when there is a lot of inconsistencies okay that's how you spot bullshit okay when do you know when you got... I'm not gonna say it's bullshit, but I'm just wanna well, I, you know I wanna discuss it. I Donald wanna understand Trump, it because this is a problem. I am Donald Trump. I'm saying ways to discover bullshit is when there's a lot of things that doesn't make sense. And you know that's how you see that guy is lying. There are predictions in Islam that say that women are going to join the workforce with men. Oh no way! Yeah. In the future, there's a woman will join the workforce with men. So what? Satan no, knew that all along, that the plan was to get the women into the workforce. Ooh. You don't think Satan knew this? Who do you think is behind all of this? Right? They do admit that this is all Satan's work, right? Yep. Duh. If it is all Satan's work, why can it also be, can it not be Satan that planted it in your book to fool you? This is one prediction. Another thing you've spoken about, which is mentioned in the prediction of that prophet, is that there will be there will come a time where people will engage in promiscuity, sexual intercourse outside of the marriage. Satan system. knew that too, because that was in the plan. Gotcha. To such an extent where sexually transmitted, there will be an advent of sexually transmitted diseases. So it's actually STDs right. will come about as a result of this uh, degenerative behavior that people in the future are going to do. So I guess my question, because, you know, I'm a believer of people are people. And so it would be, I would be very shocked if at no point in history there was like, like didn't King David have like 300 wives or something? Yeah, in the Bible, yeah. Yeah, like people were, like to me that's not a God, like, I mean, it might be true. I'm not trying to be like disrespectful. No, 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 but, no, I, no, but it's like, yeah. I wouldn't put that as a God-like prediction. Sure, you know? it, it, one or two of them wouldn't be, but if I had 50 of the same kind right. of precision and sophistication. What's the best one? Give me like the... Uh, I'll give you three or four good ones. Okay. okay. So for example, in the Quran, it's mentioned in chapter 30, verses 1 to 4, mm -hmm. that the Romans had been defeated. And remember, we said that the Roman Empire and the Persian Empire, they had been kind of going at it. Yeah. There were two major empires, even at the time of the Prophet. And that in three to nine years, that they will win and they will, and they will win in a nearby lowland. Okay. Now, this prediction has been has materialized. Now, you're a volleyball player, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. If I said... I don't know whatever team you play for, right? I say, look, Pearly's team is going to win. And they're going to win 5-0. And they're going to win at this time in this place. Yeah. I mean, that's and a pretty I'm, good prediction. I'm getting this from God. Mm -hmm. now, if, it, if the opposite happens, or if you don't win, or if there's a draw, or if this whatever it is, um, then it completely discredits what I'm saying. So would the... Hold on. Don't they also agree, not just Muslims, I believe, at least the Christians, they say this is the devil's world. The devil runs this whole world. Mm -hmm. So then, I don't know about the Muslims or the Jews, but yeah, Christians say that. I won't live my life with the ridiculous notion that life is this constant DMT life and nothing makes sense because God doesn't make sense. Meaning, I choose to worship one God that makes causes that make sense to me. I don't understand. Of course, there is a God that created all of this. I'm saying I don't think we will ever understand the true uh, meaning of everything. At least not on the level of, the, of God. The only one that can understand the true meaning of life and what this is all about is God. You know what I mean? Because we are not in the same capacity as the supreme being and we will never be. Even though we come, everything comes from the super be supreme being, but you will have to be the supreme being to understand what all of this fully is about. That's, that's what I'm saying. I won't worship fucking. That's why I don't, I don't follow religion. Religion is man-made. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't want to belong to anything. I am me. And I, I do uh, I try to be good with my free will. That's it. Well, and I believe in a creator, and that's it, you know? And the rest is just, uh, it's like becoming a member in a, in a, in something. 
You know. Are you a member? Yes or no? No, I'm not a member. I'm not a member. I'm a fucking uh, nomad. I'm a outsider. Two Christians come in. I don't want to belong said, to hey, anything. Christians, there's 50 things that Prophet Muhammad said. Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to say his name? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, sure, sure. I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I know there's some like. Yeah, we believe that's in the Quran, though. So we believe the Quran, remember, it's from God. Okay. It's mentioned in the Quran and the Hadith. Okay. Yeah. Well, so if I said that to the Christians, would yeah. they say, yes, you're right, all the predictions were correct? They couldn't deny this one. And I have actually presented this to uh, multiple Oh, really? So people. even the Christians yeah. would agree with you? They'd have to. Okay. On this issue, I don't think there's any controversy whatsoever because it just happened. And there is there's corroborating evidence outside mm -hmm. of the Quran and Sunnah. There's Roman primary source historical information about this. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So. That's one thing. There's a, there's a book that was written by a friend of mine called The Forbidden Prophecies by Abu Zakaria. His name is Abu Zakaria. And he lists a lot of these predictions. A lot of them. A lot of them is where Islam will spread. What countries it will spread to. Mm -hmm. Like Egypt, uh, like, for example, Yemen and Jordan and uh, present-day Palestine, etc. Yeah, maybe that was Satan who knew. Okay, I'm going to spread Christianity over here. I'm going to spread Islam over there at the 1300, 1600. I don't know when it came out. I'll spread this over there, Hinduism over there, this over there. Why is that? Listen, I'm not saying you should believe that, but why is that out of the equation? Do you know what I mean? That is so weird to me. Like, ah, oh, it's out of the equation. That's not even possible. What? In a lot of the countries what? that we know that Islam has spread to, uh, a lot of them have to do with the economy. economy. Mm -hmm. For example, one of them is that that interest will overwhelm the economic system mm -hmm. so that you will not be able to get away from it whatsoever. And a lot of it is to do with the infrastructure. So for example, one of the famous one is that the barefooted Arab, the barefooted Arabs will, raise, will compete to raise tall buildings. Mm -hmm. We know now the tallest building in the world is in, in Dubai, in uh, Burj oh, Khalifa, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. The, one, the third most tall building in the world is in Mecca, it's the clock tower. You know, so they're competing mm -hmm. with each other now. To exactly right. that. Someone could say it was a self-fulfilling prophecy, but it couldn't be a self-fulfilling prophecy if the economic... Um, situation wasn't there if, if they didn't have money to do that you needed to have a certain amount of gdp to do that hold on it's a fight of believers versus non-believers it's tr stop trying to instigate a fight between come on look at this guy is it me who is trying to instigate look at this guy can't you see in his body language i am right and the christians are wrong Okay, what do you think that will lead to down the line? I am right. I got the right religion. I have the backing of God. You better do. You better join us or you know what I mean. How can you not see that that is where it probably will go? You know what I mean? I am of the I, I just want to say I'm very quiet because I'm thinking a lot of, you know, I have a lot of questions. This is, this is hard for me. I'm trying to figure out what I actually believe. So yeah. don't think I'm bored or tired or anything. It's a lot of nuts. 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 <laughs> no, tired. It's a lot of nuts in your head. Yeah, it's a lot of, or, or only one. Like a cult, yeah, Kenji. Yeah. Karen. I don't know, man. I don't know. What is it you don't know? God, religion, I think that religion serves serve a good purpose, you know, also order in the, you know, in the uh, society, yeah, order in society, you have uh, rules that make sense, you know, like the Ten Commandments is nothing strange with it. We would only need the Ten Commandments and the world, if everyone followed them, it will all be okay, you know. I would say you only need to not steal. I know, but you know what I mean? Like it, well, I it brings, it, 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 I know, I know, but it brings some order. Also, P I think that people need to have a belief uh, and feel, um, I think religion also has to do something with feeling closer to God. You know, you, you, you get something that you can, uh, I, I know you're not going to like this, but something that you can make sense of because everyone knows that you cannot make sense of God. Everyone knows that, even the ones who say they can. Yeah. So if you have something to hold on to that makes you feel closer to God, it's going to feel, I don't want to say easier, but you know what I mean? Yeah, it does feel easier if you know that there is a creator. It gives, gives you a sense of there is something outside that is mm. uh, not watching you, but, you know, mm. is by your side. Yeah. 
instead of, oh, there is, this is just an accident and there is no God. And listen, regarding the make sense thing, I'm only saying on the level of God, we will never understand uh, or make sense of it. But in this world, it absolutely makes sense that there is a creator. Mm. Okay? I'm just saying we will not understand what God now, I'm not talking about. about no, I'm yeah. not talking about understanding what God is about, uh, yeah. but to have a bond to Him, like a connection. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's good. Yeah, because atheism will lead to uh, you know yeah. degeneracy and yeah. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But again, why I am against religions, and make no mistake, I am not against God because that would be Satan. Mm -hmm. I am for God. I am not against. I am not for group groups of people because but are you but, but, yeah but if if the groups didn't clash you would then i would be for it mm -hmm. yes if they became all you know one religion sounds like a nw no not one religion but, but you could you could live live uh, together yeah and yeah worship your own god or god but that's or the whatever. problem because each one thinks their book is from god mm -hmm. so there will always be like well, there can only be one book that is from God. So who has the right one? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. One of these books is a lie. Mm -hmm. What you know, the other part will think that about the other part. You know, like, nah, I think their book is a lie. No, their book is a lie. And that will you know, just believe in God, be a good person, and end it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna go to you, Shane. Uh, he believes he is right. He also believes in the I have my religion and you have yours. Does he though? Maybe that's what he's saying now. Because, you know, you can't say everything until you get a certain amount of power. Okay? Maybe he says right now, yeah, you can have your religion. I can have my religion right now. Until you reach a certain amount of, uh, you know, numbers. And then you say, listen, we have the real book of God. Okay? We didn't want to say it to you. But now we're saying it to you. Because if you truly believe this is the word, uh, God's book, yeah. everything else will be bullshit or wrong. Hmm. Also, he was one of the first to go against the, against the, ah, uh, homos. Uh, no. <laughs> that was a very good code word. That was super good code word. I wanted to have a code word for homos. Homos. <laughs> it became homos. <laughs> He was the first to go against them. And any Toro Roast organization, because that's what Islam does, not what Islam is. Also, the world now is fucked because of people who want power. Atheists and... Yeah, mm -hmm. those, those are the enemies, not each other. Mm -hmm. Organized religion versus religion. Just mm -hmm. believe in God, man. Be a good person. But damn. 